And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frostbite mid-range, bringing this deck back. This deck was uh, really impressive whenever we played it the other day. Um, and it's my kind of deck, for sure. You know, like, So our deck is built around Ash and the Frostbite mechanic. That's why it's named the Frostbite mid-range. Um, we have challenger creatures to go along with uh, reducing our opponent's creature's power to zero. We got Rhymefang Wolf. Trifarian Glory Seekers. We got some challenge uh, in there. Legion Legion Drummer helps support our challengers, give them quick attack as well. But then we also have some good uh, card advantage. Like I I really like Averroes and Hearth Guard. I think that's just a, a fun card to play. Grant everything, get everything a lot larger. And then with Trifarian Assessor, we get to draw a lot of cards. Babbling Bjerg uh, goes and finds us Ash or Hearth Guard or Trindamir. Um. We have the one Katarina in here, just have that spicy Katarina, that late game. We get to keep taking more and more attack steps. Just a pretty fun deck to play. And Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron are two of the very best one mana tricks in Legends of Runeterra, especially with the Mark of the Isles nerf. So these are two of the best one mana tricks and we get to play three of each of them. So let's give it a try. We're going to go play 10 matches over in Ranked. And let's see how we do. Alright, well we got Legion Drummer, Katarina. Man, we're playing like a, a mirror match. How do we just always get paired against mirror matches? Crazy. Well, we'll keep it. I think these tricks should be pretty good in the mirror. Alright, so I'm going to play Glory Seeker, not Rhymefang Wolf, so that, um, so that I have the two mana available still to be able to play both of these tricks if need be. Basically, we're trading one mana spells if I want to play one of these. Yeah, I, I should play one. All right, so we're gonna, we'll are we trade one mana spells. Um, and it really doesn't matter which one we use, but uh, I think Brittle Steel may be more important. Like, for this, for, for this, it doesn't matter which one. It's just which one would we rather have in hand, and I feel like Brittle Steel could be more important. very good. So we're going to just take out Legion Drummer. Line up. I'll cut them up your mind. Let's see what you've got. Don't like that, I had to use that trick there. Thank you. 
Plus one should be playing the Icefield Archer instead of this other Legion Drummer. I assume they're going to use a Frostbite spell on my 5-1. Oh crap. I'm jealous. I want hearth guard. I'm jealous. I want a hearth guard. This looks like this has a whole lot of potential for us this turn. It's pretty difficult for them to play more units. Okay. Well, that's fair. already leveled up. All the world on one arrow. That's a good turn for them. Show me a worthy opponent. You could have fought by my side. Let the bloodshed begin. Playing Katarina still lets me have harsh winds. Obviously, we need Harch wins right now. Sweet. All right, ended up getting there. That was a close. That was a close mirror match there.
That was close. Our Katarina didn't get, yeah, we didn't get to do anything with that Katarina. We were just about to, you know, we're about to deal damage with that Katarina, bounce it back to our hand, be able to replay it. You know, we had the nine mana, so we were going to be able to play like our five drop and Katarina and get another attack step. Or even just play Katarina, get an attack, play Katarina again, get another attack. We had three attacks there. Ezreal, 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 playing against lots and lots of Ezreal today. Lots and lots of Ezreal. Harsh Wind's not good. Calling Strike does kill Ezreal, but I like that's kind of why it's in here. But do we keep it in our opener just to kill Ezreal in the super late game? Probably not. We should, probably should just shuffle it away. Yeah, I agree. Katarina does have such a cool mechanic. It is hard to... I think I think Katarina's better in, in Expedition than in, in Constructed. Like, Expedition... You're just going to have probably like a, a longer game just in general and, uh, you know, more mana to use. Like, you really have to use a lot of mana for Katarina, but... Um, but yeah, it can be really powerful. Yeah, she can be a great mana sink. Well, we didn't get the the free kill because the bounce spell, but oh well. Take from the rich, give to me. Smells like opportunity. Bar the doors. Just borrow in here. The war mother will unite us all. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever mm. the. I don't like the turn 5 karma. I don't like the turn 5 karma one bit. So do I go Glory Seeker plus Assessor and try to draw two cards? Or, yeah, draw two cards. Or do I go Ice Veil Archer plus Culling Strike to kill that thing? Um, I could have Ice Veil Archer plus Glory Seeker plus Culling Strike. I can do all of them, all of those. Well, that's not static shock. Stand together. But I could, yeah, I could still see them blocking that and then setting up static shock for next turn. But I don't think I just don't attack with it. I get priority, so I'm playing this thing right away, so we get to draw a card, because they don't get to respond to that. I thought you'd never ask. Winter, take you. 
So many times when we have turned to Mira, I wish I would rather just have the Battle Fury. Yeah, Trindamir and Battle Fury have the same art, and then yeah, the Battle Fury is Trindamir. I've been told I have a temper. Yeah, Battle Fury is sweet. Sweet. We're going to be able to challenge all three of their things and, and attack for lethal. But of course, they could have had a removal spell, but you know it, they had to use a removal spell to stay alive, so therefore they can't use a removal spell to protect Ezreal. Oops, I didn't show the level up. We're at 103 now. Went from 121 to 103. This deck's just pretty solid. I like this deck. All right. Two, three, four, five. And we draw Omen Hawk off the top. I like that. Or Omen Hawk, Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron. I'd like one of those three cards. Because we'll still have like the one extra spell mana. We'll be able to play those one mana spells even if we don't play anything on turn one. Sounds like a, a dog, not a wolf. Definitely dog no noise. Not wolf noise. All the world on one arrow. I don't have any protection. No brittle steel or elixir of iron, unfortunately. They got a lot of cards over there. It's problematic. You're late, Omen Hawk.
Need you on turn one. I blocked one of these things. Hmm. We'll take the four cards. Triple champion. This isn't really the time for champions. I really want the one mana interaction. That's what we really want here is one mana interaction. Okay. So you're going to, let's see. I'll cut them apart. Face me. So we'll just cut them apart there. Definitely have like Grasp the Undying to kill my Ash. That's just how it goes. Or not Grasp, Will the. Sorry, Withering Whale. That was the card I was thinking of, Withering Whale. Still, we traded with their Withering Whale and basically cleared their whole board and. Everything so. I'd say that worked out pretty well. We got a lot of cards. I know what lurks in the shadows. A chill in the air. Play some defense, Iceville Archer. Defense. So if Katarina does damage like this. We'll put it back into our hand. Next turn eight mana, that's two rally attacks with Katarina. Let's go. This deck's similar to the quick aggro, the weenie aggro that we played earlier. This is kind of like the the upgraded version of the, the weenie aggro. We can use Assessor to still draw a lot of cards, but we have good interaction. Unfortunate. So I have nothing in play right now. It's probably not good. 
Oh my gosh, that's very not good. Shouldn't have played Katarina, should have played the Bjerg. Go ahead. Oh man. Looks like I may have just died. Well, we're not gonna die. Let me change into something more. Come together. Okay, not going for lethal. Well, I guess it's still lethal, but then they get to kill this thing. I guess that makes sense. We really did a very poor job of drawing tricks, didn't we? We've only drawn units. A true Felurian welcome. Not a single brittle steel or elixir of iron. Any of this. need to play more more things there a little late there elixir of iron so I can double spell it's not gonna help can this get like if we draw ash what does ash do Ash kills me if I play Ash, because we would draw Crystal Arrow, which wouldn't be good enough. We need to basically just draw another Harsh Winds. Oh, I guess I, I should have gone Bjerg, because Bjerg could have hit Assessor, and then Assessor gives us more options of drawing Harsh Winds. Too many units this time, and and not like good challenge, you know, not our challengers that take these things out. Trindamir looks like the worst card in our deck quite often. We quite often have no ability to play Trindamir whatsoever. The games are over already beforehand. And you know, like every single one of these games, like we would just don't really have time to play Trindomir ever. Cost too much mana.
this is a matchup where we have to be pretty defensive. They're a real aggressive deck, so Katarina is not good on defense. Harsh Winds is good on defense, but it's very expensive. I think I send it back. I need to try to fill the the curve. Why is Trendomir in our deck? Like, why? Why is it? Why are we playing this card? It's just a dead card. Every single game. It's a dead card. It's like we're putting a it's like we're playing a, a blue red deck and we just decide to throw a green card in our deck that we don't have the mana to cast at all. Without a sound. Not and ready. Swiftly. Yeah, you've been cutting kind of Trendomir a lot in a lot of lists too, yeah. Yeah, like this list wasn't like I did not make this list, but don't like these Trindomirs. Oh my gosh, why did it just pass? What is going on? Oh, that card came up and and I was like okay to get that thing out of here and it just passed my turn. <sighs> Obviously, I wanted to play Legion Drummer and Trifarian Glory Seeker. Obviously. Too busy over here complaining about this uncastable Trindomir. That kind of thing can just happen when you play so many games, though. Like it happens once, you know, once or twice a stream. I just make a an error in pressing buttons. User error. <laughs> we always draw both Trindomirs, also, and they're always both uncastable. I'm not using Elixir of Iron to save that, because that thing can't block anyway. Alright, so what if we just take out Trindomir? Play something that we can actually cast. What if we do that? What if we play castable spells? It's got to make things better. I 
I've always liked Rhyme Tusk Shaman. What if we play Shunpo? Minotaur Reckoner. Ooh, Minotaur Reckoner. That's a bad Minotaur. That's a much more castable card and a more impactful card. That also just fills the top end slot. But is a lot better. Hello. Flavor and spice. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Head to the base. We march as one, an unstoppable force. We got other challengers. Remember me. Just gonna trade. Um, just again, that glory seeker can't block. Nice of you to join me now, brittle steel. It was right on my tail. Hey, we got a new sub at low. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Welcome. Thanks, Edlo. Our second sub of the day. Um. You have just pass in. Yeah, I think the meta game is too fast for Trindomir because even even the control decks are. Um. Victory requires a sharp blade. Even the control decks like kill you very quickly with like Ezreal. It's pretty easily answered with you know bounce spells and frostbite and all that kind of stuff. Definitely assuming they're gonna use a barrier on this thing, but I can't really stop that from happening. Okay, well I will take that. Do I save Legion Drummer? No.
Well, now I drew another Elixir of Iron. Now I wish I would have saved it. Save the Legion Drummer. We fight for those who cannot. Our strength is yours. Yeah, the yeah the, the Trinomir really doesn't doesn't fit. I agree with what, what y'all are saying in chat. How it doesn't really fit in a, in a mid range deck. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. But yeah, like a finisher in like a control deck or War Mothers where you can get it for free, that kind of stuff. One of these I want to like fast attack. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Yeah, I could play Darius instead of turn to mirror. I think the Minotaur Reckoner may just be better though. I like how Minotaur Reckoner can stun some stuff and you know like Ash with the Frostbite um, keeps, uh, you know, can also keep other things from blocking and we can, we can kind of keep them from blocking with a lot of stuff. I think Minotaur Reckoner is really solid. Garen's leveled up. Kind of have to hope they don't have judgment. Oh, okay. Well, found our answer to judgment. So possibly don't attack. I just don't get to play. I mean, I can play Ash at the beginning of my turn, I guess. Two works better when uh, when you don't just draw Trindomirs. You don't just have two uncastable Trindomirs in hand. Works a little better.
Hmm. Give it a try. Okay, yeah, the Bannerman deck was giving you a lot of problems with this one. Yeah, I mean, uh, Minotaur Reckoner is a great a great card against the Bannerman deck, right? Because it's a really good blocker at a 6-6 and also gets rid of, you know, stuns one of their things. Even if it's stunning the weakest thing, it's still stunning something. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Which can, you know, still help you win combats. This keeps them from attacking. What am I gonna do? Just go like Ash, attack the next turn. Do I want to? Do I want to try waiting with Ash? Until we level up Ash? Cause like I play Ash, they could just you know kill Ash immediately, and then is that? Is that kind of a waste? That could be a waste. You know, if they're going to use a Get Excited, I'd rather them use Get Excited on the Wolf than on Ash. All right, good call. Time for a true display of skill. Oh, this isn't gonna work because they just they just play the spinning axe. My light for This isn't gonna work. They just play spinning axe. Oh, it was kind of a waste of a harsh winds, but it helps level up. Sure. All right. Well, at least we trade. We're trading with a you know an actual spell. Helps level up Ash. This could be a good spot for Reckoner. How do I feel about Lux? Like, Lux is good. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Lux is a good card. It's, coming right up. it's... Yeah, it's a... Lux, Karma, Heimerdinger, Ezreal, all four of those spell champions are... They're all really good.
Well, they're not going to just not play this. They're not going to just pass back. This house spider really hurts. Now we're gonna be stunning that little one one instead of stunning like Ezreal. All the world on one arrow. It's a clutch elixir of iron. Yeah, could have more Culling Strike Flash Freeze instead of Trindomir. I'm, I mean, I, I took the Trindomirs out. We're playing Minotaur Reckoner instead. And I, I like this Minotaur Reckoner a lot more already. You know, like we were able to play it before. Um, you know, like this, you know, it's keeping this little 1-1 one, one from Trump blocking. So they're either taking 13 or they have to block. Like Ezreal is the only thing that blocks right now. They're taking the 13. I was hoping they'd block. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Draven time. I mean, I think I have to block here because I. I have to be worried about taking too much damage. My beautiful face. Is a mountain and covered in ice. Oh, why can't I have one more mana? Later, Reckoner. Dang. Firing. Not even killing Ash. That means that I am probably dead. Is real busted. I guess I just play this right now. Cause yeah, they only have one blocker anyway. I guess we just play this now. Hope to draw something that costs four or less. Something we can play, Trifarian Assessor. Being the best? Question mark. All right, that's something to play. It's so basically, can they do? You know, they get to draw. They get to have twelve mana. Yeah, I'm dead. I say, like, can they do enough damage to me? Yeah, they can now for sure. With that. All they need is any one spell out of the, the four cards because the spinning axes are four damage. So all they need is one of those things to be able to be ca to cast something. So obviously, obviously they're gonna have something cast something. So we're dead. I don't think it's possible for them to have four cards that aren't spells. Well, we already know all these are spells, and they're not even the 
spinning axes. So. I'm gonna save 20 seconds instead of like going through all the animations and going through all combat and everything. I'm just conceding because they can't they can't put those there unless they're spells and. Well, Reckoner was better than... Uh, Reckoner was definitely better than Trindamir. Because we got to play it and actually have an impact. But that House Spider that they played... Keep me from stunning their Ezreal Hurt. Uh, let's see. Yasuo. More frostbite. <laughs> yeah, Lux Karma double final spark it is great. Hello. I want to say hi back whenever they say hi. He also has a 4-3, right? Yeah. This thing about Brittle Steel. Now we play Hearthguard, and then turn after Glory Seeker and Assessor. We fight for one Freljord. I really focus on using Challenger on this thing right now. I could. Could attack with the Legion Drummer also, and then Frostbite this. And then they could, like, stun back. We'll just attack for eight. Save the Brittle Steel. Like how this game's going, but of course they have all eight mana. You know, like, they haven't played anything this, this turn. In turn. Another hearth guard. I want to play the other hearth guard. But we have Glory Seeker Assessor. Hearth guard's too good, though. I think we got to play hearth guard first. I will play my part. Just gotta get these things in play.
Yeah. Got to get that long-term value of the Hearth Guard. I mean, turning Icefell Archer to a 5-3, that's 5 power now. We can just start making everything 5 power, basically. And also, you know, like this is, you know, they're going to have four or three. They're going to have three of the Intimidating Roars. The Intimidating Roar is, you know, stun stuff with four or less power. That makes things worse for me. I need to play more creatures. I was hoping they would be scared of the the quick attack here and block the 3-3 three, three instead. Draw three. Yeah, nothing wrong with the draw three. So sure, I lost my, you know, I, I traded 4-1 for the 2-2, two -two, so you know, like we traded cards and then I lost my 5-5, five -five, dealt five damage, but, but we got to draw three out of it. So I think the hearth guard did pretty good for us. I guess now it's to start Time to start playing wolves. Show yourself. Show yourself. It looks like we have so many cards in hand, but we actually only have one more card in hand than they do. Like, they have a lot of cards in hand, too. It's like, they got a lot of options, too. Face your fate. Stay back. Yeah, I could have used Brittle Steel to save Drummer, but I don't. I didn't want to save Drummer. I wanted to keep playing other stuff. Drummer was just a four-one. I didn't value Drummer at all. Brittle Steel could be a way for us to, t you know, pair up with Ryan Fang Wolf to take out Yasuo. But Yasuo, yeah, Yasuo is leveled up now with this second uh, Yone. One. Face me, Shorthorn. Do not 
not interfere. So we got a lethal attack right now. Did for a little bit. So I can play Legion Drummer, then Assessor, and draw four. That's kind of too many cards. That would give me ten in hand. Um... Okay, cool. We can use Cooling Strike. Now that'll give us nine in hand, and then our next card that we draw for next turn is ten. problem with this plan though is our battlefield will be full so if my opponent doesn't really do anything if they just kind of pass to me i'll just have to go back to my turn because i won't have any any room for, to play anything um that's true the cooling strike could have let me kill yasuo that's true that's true paired with the harsh winds okay Drawing four is pretty good. Minotaur Reckoner was was kind of nice on their side. You know, I had to just sit there with that crappy one one all the time. Then it filled the board. I like this. I like I like trading out Trindamir for um, for Reckoner. Oh, they're an aggressive deck. We're going to be more aggressive than this. I'm gonna just take a. Replace those. Harsh Winds would be a card that I wouldn't mind drawing into. I have my orders. First big mission. A chill in the I feel like I shouldn't have played Ice Veil Archer. Time for the main event. You know, it's like how do, how do I even like attack? Like these Legion drummers, like what what are we even doing? I attack with Legion drummer, they block with the saboteur. If I attack like like that and and uh, give the quick attack, they get to just block with a one four. Well, this for Saboteur, I guess, is a good trade because then, the, then they don't get to do the one point of damage to me that Saboteur would do. Boom Crew Rookie is just really tough to deal with, and so is Draven. These are difficult cards to deal with. We didn't draw any of our challengers, even with that mulligan. Just all the Legion Drummer, no challenger. Two mana three twos are not going to beat Boom Crew Rookie and Draven, unfortunately. Let's do this. If it's a fight they want, time to go. All the world on one arrow. Reporting 
again? You won't get past me. All right, looks like that block was pretty bad. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Wolf can be a good draw. Double vision. Wow. 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 That's pretty good. So, I mean, I. I What a turn. What a turn. I have to just use harsh winds here, don't I? And they got three new cards now. This is rough. They haven't had like any burn spells yet, you know, like with with drawing into these, like they have to have just drawn into burn spells and jinxes and stuff. Like I I can't see any way that we win this. Like I, I can't even imagine a combination of four cards that they could ha possibly have where we could win. Hey, Sultani. Howdy. I'll just mark this down in the loss column. Four and four. We're going to obviously eat the Boom Crew rookie. But they got another one. Guess I should have targeted the 1-4, not the 3-1, but it, 
It honestly doesn't matter. All right, four and four. 500. Are we playing two more? Let's try to pick up two wins. Let's try to pick up two wins. Yeah, and Dying Control did really well. That deck was sweet. I liked it quite a bit. That's why I didn't really want Ice Veil Archer, it's just, it's too fragile. I do want the Hearth Guards, I want to grow our creatures. We march as one, an unstoppable force. No, there really wasn't any glaring, glaring uh, flaws with it. Um, all my replays go up to the YouTube channel also, and so there's the, the video of Undying Control. I I put him up right away and so it's it's already up there. Um. Yeah, the deck was cool. There wasn't really anything that I would necessarily change about it. it was right on my tail. No. I want the third hearth card. Death by one ones. Hearth Guard's too valuable. I I want to play the um, the Archer, but Hearth Guard's too valuable. Oh, okay, cool. Yep, yeah, yep. Got the that's the YouTube channel right there. Sultania put up all the replays every single day. Could Hecarums be swapped with Zeds? I'd rather swap with... I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. I'd maybe would rather swap with Thresh if you have that, but... Um... Yeah, I could see swapping... Swapping those. Hmm... They're just going to kill this Glory Seeker. It's not the worst. Not the worst thing ever. Yeah, Ledros is just a really good finisher. You know, like it it helps you win win the late games, and it's it's kind of just like the Undying that your opponents can't kill, and it just keeps coming back over and over. We fight for one 
It was it was actually really good for us, the Ledros. It's a, it's a good finisher. Definitely see them setting up for yet another ruination. Right now, like Trifarian Assessors. The Trifarian Assessor is the card that we want to draw. Alright, not setting up for another ruination. Assessor! Oh man, I want to play you, Assessor. But it's better to play this Minotaur Reckoner first. Oh wait, they're not going to have... Because basically I'm just stunning this Anivia. So yeah, if they want to, they want a ruination right now. I mean, their Anivia's gone. Boo. There's so little spiders and so many spells in the control and dying. Would it be better to run Karma instead of the Elise? No, I liked the Elise. Like, it's it's good at, you know, you need to put pressure on your opponent. Um, that's something that... That's something you need to be able to do. Ash is at zero. And so Elise does a good job. You know, you're not really focused on trying to flip Elise, but you're just having something else put pressure, like the Elises and the Undyings and stuff like that. And then you can blow them out with Ruination. And um, the Elise works pretty well. So you're not just super slow and always behind. <sighs> How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? If I play Assessor, I get to draw four more cards. It's kind of too many cards, if that's a thing. It's not really a thing. How are they not casting Ruination? I guess they, they just can't have Ruination. I'm I'm playing this other Ice Veil Archer because I know like that the whole Frostbite thing doesn't really matter, doesn't really do anything. But um you know I'm I'm at ten cards, I need to get a card out of my hand. Good thing about having really big creatures, they don't die to Anivia's trigger. Yeah, these hearth guards and assessors are really working well together. The two hearth guards and the two assessors. This is our time. That's nice. 
That's a stunning turn of events. I guess because the Egg Nivea was an O2 at the beginning of the turn. They would just play Ruination if they had it, so I, I really don't think they have it. Like they wouldn't they wouldn't just pass. So I think I could be even greedier. know what they're supposed to have right now they're going down to negative 23 I, I just don't the 13 mana I don't I don't know ah harsh winds okay yeah they can have double harsh winds that will do it double harsh winds Card plus assessor equals awesome. Minotaur Reckoner is playable. Unlike Trindomir, as we found out earlier. Oh, the aggro matchup again. Okay, can we... The same one we just lost for our fourth loss. Can we make up for that loss? <laughs> Let's send back harsh winds. All right, what do you want instead? How about harsh winds? Reporting in. Okay, ready. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Let me show you what I can do. I wish I could kill Draven, but I can't. I'll do better this time. Defend the Empire. I played like a version of the Harrowing Ash deck that focused a little bit more on Elise, Spy like Elise and Spiders, but you know had a couple Harrowings at the top end and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's a fun deck. You know, getting you know just a ton of Ashes is pretty cool. See, Culling, Culling Strike wouldn't work because of Spinning Axe. That's a great draw. Because of Spinning Axe, I couldn't Culling Strike. So 
So I would I would try, they would make it four power, and then I would die. Victory. Come here, darling. Look what you oh! <laughs> I wonder what Jinx stands for. Dang, they're coming in hot. Okay, ready. Need the target. Would it have made more sense just to play my hearth guard? I have hearth guard block jinx. Darn. That means I'm dead. Our banner will lead the way. It's like this thing does two damage to me. I wish I would have gone Beer Glory Seeker. As the arrow flies. Like the 3 1 just blocks Ash. Sure about that? Does 2 damage to me, puts me down to 5. Not necessarily dead now. This is our homeland. They, they basically just have to have get excited. They have get excited, they win. If they don't, they lose. Today we fight as one. Come on, damage happen. No. Oh, come on. That was their last card. So close. So close. So instead of playing the Assessor, if I would have played the Culling Strike on the 1-4... I was just thinking like they would they would play their other card, empty their hand, have Jinx get four power. Or get get the four damage thing. Alright, so we ended up five hundred. Um I do like the changes of of uh turning Trindomir into Minotaur Reckoner. And I could also still see turning Minotaur Reckoner into something else. That's just kinda like what, what we went with here. Um we are losing against the aggro decks. Like that that was actually that's a little surprising because we can go bigger, but um, it can be tough to stabilize against direct damage for sure and how they can go wide so fast. Um, I don't think, like, so obviously we could play stuff like Avalanche 
Uh, I don't think we really need anything like that, but there's there's other good options. Um, you know, more more culling strikes and flash freezes. That's it's possible. Let's see where we're we at. We're at 30 and 10 spells. Yeah, we could probably use some more spells. So honestly, maybe that's the thing instead of these reckoners is just add in some more culling strikes and, and flash freezes. Um, yeah, Avalanche is very good these days, but as you can tell, Avalanche kills a lot of our early stuff. You know, like it's killing our Legion drum or Rhyme Fang Wolf. Stuff like that, but there are there are tons and tons of spider decks around. So, you know, that's the kind of thing is you can play around it, right? Like you can set up Avalanche first and then play your stuff. You don't have to like lead with, uh, you know, Legion Drummer into Rhyme Fang Wolf and then Avalanche. You know, you don't have to curve like that. You get to choose how you want to curve. But yeah, there are there are a whole lot of spider decks around. Um, I've I don't love Reckoning. But that is an option. That's true that that Reckoning is an option. Since we, we can have some 5 plus power allies later on in the game. But I, I don't love that option. But that that is an option. I was honestly even considering Shunpo. Deal 2 and Rally. I think Shunpo is under, underplayed. But I think... I think with here, if it's like Minotaur Reckoner, if you want the big creature or if you want some more spells, I think it's some combination or, or some some way of playing Avalanche, Culling Strike, Flash Freeze. I think those are the three cards um, that you're probably looking at. Um, besides that, the other card that you, you could play also, honestly, is Blade's Edge. I think... I do think Blade's Edge is, is pretty valuable. Um, and you can you can just get some people, you know, you just kill some stuff with Blade's Edge. I think that, that card's kind of nice at just one mana. I think it's, it's you know, better right now than what's been a long time. But So those are some other cards to think about. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Minotaur Reckoner. Let me know what you think of Trindomir. You know, how I took out Trindomir and playing Reckoner instead. And if you would... Uh, if you like that, if you like Trindomir, would you also, would you take out Reckoner and just get two more spells in here since we're only at 10? So would you get, you know, some, some combination of these kind of spells in here? Let me know over there in the YouTube comments. Uh, also donation decks, all the donation deck slots are open any day, any time slot. Uh, it's just a $10 donation and uh, either send your deck code or um, send your deck idea that you want me to build around. Just ten dollars for your deck on stream, um, and making a YouTube video for it, playing ten matches in ranked. Um, link for YouTube is down below, and for those of y'all in chat, it's right there. All right, but there we go. So that's Frostbite Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.